Hello everyone, Ryan here again. So I just wanted to talk about my latest book haul, which also happens to be very philosophy oriented. Uh, also philosophical. Well, philosophical, poetic, but mostly philosophical. Uh, of course, I got all these books for very cheap at my local used bookstore, which also happens to be located within my local library. Um, one thing I wanted to do is I, I, I definitely always try to encourage people to visit their local library as much as possible uh, because so many there's so many free resources available just at any local library. So, yeah, if you're not the type of person who likes going to the library, but uh, I definitely suggest you visit at least once a week or at least a couple times a week. Because, I mean, you never know what you're going to come across. You never know what you're going to find. So, um, so yeah. Uh, first two I purchased are <clears throat> having to be part of the same story. Well, I guess epic poem. Uh, of course, it's Faust. Faust. Pretty sure a lot of people are familiar with this. Faust by Johann Wolfgang. Von Goet or Goethe, I guess depending on where you live, the pronunciation pronunciation changes. So yeah, there's part one and part two. Um, I gotta admit, I've never read this before, but I've read other stuff. I've read a lot of other stuff in the past that makes mention of Faust. So obviously, I knew it was time for me to own my own. Copies. Yeah. So the next one I purchased um, is actually kind of a somewhat new title. It was published in 2008. It's titled Violence. Violence by Slavo or Slavoj Zizek or Zizek. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. Uh, but again, another philosophy-oriented book. Uh, essentially, this deals with the different aspects of violence and the different... Well, yes, the different aspects of violence that modern society often succumbs to um, it's very interesting. Uh, I haven't read that much so far, but I mean, it de it definitely seems pretty intriguing. So, next one I got is one that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are familiar with. I posted a picture of it on Instagram. It's titled "The Two Fundamental Two Fundamental Problems of Ethics" by Arthur Schopenhauer. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, Schopenhauer. And again, another philosophy oriented book. I do like it. I definitely like it. Though I gotta admit, some of the stuff so far has been going right over my head. But uh, for the most part, I get it. I understand it. Yeah. Uh, for what I understand, Schopenhauer won a couple of literary awards for. Not only this work, but a couple of his other essays. So, I like it so far. Next one I got is by Plato. It's Phaedrus. Or Phaedrus. Uh, sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But I mean, it's spelled P-H-A-E-D-R-U-S. So, uh, <clears throat> set in the idyllic countryside outside Athens, Phaedrus is a dialogue between the philosopher Socrates and his young friend, Phaedrus, inspired their, by their reading of a clumsy speech by the writer Lysias about love. After first considering the virtues of romantic love, their conversation develops into a wide-ranging discussion on such 
subjects as the pursuit of beauty, the nature of humanity, the immortality of the soul, and the attainment of truth. It ends with an in-depth consideration of the principles of rhetoric. Yeah. I've also never really read anything by Plato before, but I have read other stuff that makes a lot of mention of Plato's work, so it's definitely I was definitely overdue to own something by Plato. Yeah. And the last one I purchased is I believe another one that a lot of people are familiar with. In fact, I believe definitely a lot of philosophy majors are familiar with. Uh, it's titled The Critique of Pure Reason by Immanuel Kant. Immanuel Kant. And again, it's another guy that I've never, I've never read anything by. But again, I've read other stuff that also that refers to Immanuel Kant and his work. So, yeah. Uh, from what I know, I mean, a lot of philosophers, um, well, in fact, I think even my dad, um, which I don't think I ever mentioned before, my dad uh, teaches sociology, and he's always constantly making connections between sociology and philosophy, uh, and other areas too, psychology. Uh, but I know even my dad is, is familiar with the work of Immanuel Kant. And so I guess ultimately, yeah, I, I wanted to see what, see what Kant was all about. Um, because again, I've, I've heard and I've read so many other things that refer to his work and the work of other philosophers too. So, yeah. So that'll do it for my philosophy book haul. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to everybody who's currently subscribed. I definitely appreciate it. Um, and feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace.